What up, you all? What's up, familia? Catching puzzle pieces. <clears throat> What's going on? I hope y'all had a great weekend. My weekend. Uh, yeah. Had my children. Uh, well, I had the girls with me, so we, we had a great time together. And then yesterday, Memorial Day, I just spent it at home. Just relaxing, not doing nothing. Uh, oh, so real quick, to get to the point, right? How, welcome to how to catch puzzle pieces. Bits of wisdom. All right, so here she gets to the point that I've been struggling to communicate to you guys, right? To you all. Uh, this is what I tell people when I'm, you know, anyone, like I'm right here at my desk, my stand up, whatever. It's not a desk, but I guess it is because it has my, whatever. I'm there, right, and where I work at, and I send someone coming, and they come, I know they're coming. They ask me whatever question. Hey, Miguel, can you help me with this? You know, can you give me some of this? Whatever. It's like, okay, I have to, I have to, I have to consciously process, okay, this person is here. Okay, they need this. All right, now stop doing what you're doing. Okay, now remember where you're at so that when you come back, you can try to remember. You can continue with what you were doing, right? Receiving or doing whatever. Uh, so I have, so I, it's like if we have to go through this all through all this whole checklist or whatever, just so that we can, like, this is what I'm talking about. The way that we process this is that, so what I tell people is like, all right, look, when y'all come and ask me a question, you have to give me a second because, or more like a whole three minutes. Because in my mind, when anyone comes up to me, my mind, it, it's like when you look at the computer and it's buffering. Okay, that's me. That is me. And it's like, it's like buffering. It's like it's trying to get there, you know, but it's not there. And then these people are over here waiting for me like, come on, Miguel. Like, or at least this is how I picture it from my perspective, right? They're probably like, uh... But I'm gonna go ahead and play it because she break explains it better than we do. So this resonates with me. This is what I've been dealing with. Uh, one of the issues. Delayed processing. Another challenge we may face is that due to our neurological differences, we tend to have a slower communication processing speed. Hey, at all, 2018. This can be bloody frustrating and sometimes embarrassing when the world requires us to think on our feet and engage in the type of rapid fire surface conversational ping pong favored by neurotypical folk. We have to take an in the moment conscious inventory of what is actually being said, listening, interpreting non-verbal communication, understanding, filtering out the key point from a bunch of endless possibilities and then thinking of how best to respond and then actually responding whilst monitoring your own delivery a three-part system if you will but not only that we also have to do this with impaired neural pathways in the sensory prefrontal hippocampal cerebellar striatal and midbrain regions I'm gonna stop it there so I don't make it long, but <clears throat> so yes, so it's hold on, I think she actually does insist on watching Netflix with the subtitles on. However, it is important to note that in many areas, like visually, we can actually process information much quicker than most people. Our brains running in a kind of higher level matrix like code and forming less obvious connections. And we often have an above average IQ and enhanced working memory. Yeah, so. 
Yeah. For example, if someone, supervisor, manager, whatever comes and they're like, Miguel, come here. I want to show you something. Here, read this email that they sent to us all, right? And I'm right here like, I'm barely on the first word and, and the people, the person, they're already looking at me to see if I already understood everything. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, dang, hold up. I need a good 10 minutes to read this real quick. I have to read it. I have to process that I'm right here with you. I have to process that I'm reading. I have to, then I have to see, read it again too so that I can understand what the message from the email was. Then I have to, so it's like, just wanna pull my hair, you know, just, uh. But now that I know this about myself, it's like, oh, okay, so, so you're not bad, Miguel. You're not a fuck up. You're not a this. You're not that. You. So I'm trying freaking hard. as freaking trying hard, right? Uh, like that's why I say my thousand percent. Uh, no matter how hard you try, Miguel, at being a normal person, you can never become a normal person if you are an autistic individual within the autistic spectrum and that is okay Miguel that is okay just be yourself keep going